Hi, my name is Jesse at Trash Panda, and today is day two of making a disc out of a different plastic every day for five days. These are single-use plastic bags. Both myself and all raccoons around the world have agreed that we don't like these. And this is LDPE Regrind. Believe it or not, these are the same type of plastic. So if this works, keeping these puppies out of landfills would be awesome. Now, as many of you know, I started with HDPE discs. HDPE just stands for high density polyethylene and LDPE is low density polyethylene. They're in the same family, but I have a hunch that this one might be a little bit more flexible. So today I'm gonna make a disc out of the same plastic as plastic grocery bags. Now to those of you who are thinking, hey, this is cool, but I never got a mini, don't worry. The next mini drop is happening on July 1st. Until then, I sent 20 minis over to my new shop sponsor, Another Round. If you order something from them this week and use code TRASHPANDA, they're gonna pull some Willy Wonka magic and throw a Trash Panda mini into 20 random orders. So after this video, you might wanna go check out their site. Oh, and I heard they're throwing in some goodies as well. I have no idea what that means, but my fingers are crossed that it's an actual golden ticket. All right, remember when I said that high melt flow was easier? That was probably the lowest melt I've ever done, so that was really hard. I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to get it, but I'm really curious to see what this turns out like because I think it might be a little more flexible. I'm not sure, it's just a guess, but fingers crossed. <laughs> So full disclosure, I actually made two discs today. This one is low density polyethylene and this one is linear low density polyethylene. And the difference between the two is chemistry. <laughs> they're easily the most flexible of any disc I've made yet, which means my hunch was correct, but they're still like an exo hard. So not super flexible. That's okay though, cause we're here to learn. So to recap, high density polyethylene is too hard and too slippery. Polypropylene is too hard, but kind of grippy. And low density polyethylene is too slippery, but kind of flexy. In short, we're making progress and tomorrow we keep going. Honestly, this is kind of going too well. As always, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to support the channel and we'll see you tomorrow. I'm afraid I might've jinxed myself by saying it was going too well, so. Thank you.